Hey guys, Superintendent Buff here, and I'm here with the very first video of my new Xcode build series. Uh, in this series, I will be showing you how to make a universal uh, application. Uh, so that's an application which runs on the iPhone, uh, the iPod Touch, and the iPad. Um, but unlike just normal iPhone apps which are run on the iPad, it has full support uh, for the iPad UI and full support for the iPhone and uh, iPod Touch UI as well. Uh, so this is going to be uh, uh, 10 videos in this series, um, and let's get started. So I'm going to select a view-based application, and I'm going to select product as iPhone, and we're going to click choose, and then I'm going to give it a name, and I'm going to save it on my desktop, and let's just make this window a bit bigger. So. In this video, this is just a sort of overview. In the next coming videos, I will be talking about uh, icons, uh, splash screens, uh, upgrading the UI, upgrading your code, uh, and then finally uh, preparing an application for distribution uh, for the uh, iPhone App Store, or for the iPhone and iPad App Store. Uh, so in this overview, um, I, I'm not really going to get into anything uh, technical quite yet, uh, but I just want to talk a bit about uh, universal applications. Uh, but there is one or two things I will show you in this tutorial. Uh, so, to, you know, the very first thing you want to do when you want to make a universal application is to click on your targets, uh, which is in your groups and files tab in your uh, Xcode project, and you'll see the name of your application. So if you right click on this, you see there's a new options menu saying upgrade current target for iPad. So obviously we're going to click this because we want to upgrade the application uh, to an iPad application as well. And we get two options. One universal application or two device specific applications. So we're going to click one universal application and we're going to click OK. And now this application has already been upgraded uh, for the iPhone, iPod Touch, and the iPad. So technically, this application can already work on an iPhone, iPod Touch, or an iPad. Uh, but obviously, you know, you won't really notice any new changes because we haven't upgraded the UI, we haven't added new icons, things like that. Um, so obviously, we have to do all of that to properly finish the universal upgrade, as it's called. So. Next main thing we're going to be doing uh, in this Xcode build series is adding icons. Uh, so we're going to add two sets of icons, one for the iPhone and the iPod Touch, and one for the iPad. We're then going to be going into adding splash screens. Now this isn't necessary, you don't have to add a splash screen if you don't want to, uh, but if you do then I will be showing you how you can do it. So obviously you need two separate images, one for the iPhone and the iPod Touch, and one for the iPad. Then we're going to be going into upgrading your UI. Um, and then upgrading your UI so it has full support for the iPad or uh, iPad screen and all iPad orientations. And then we're going to be talking talking about your code um, and how you can either use the same code for your iPad application or use two sets of codes, uh, one for your iPhone and iPod Touch application and one for your iPad application. And then finally, we will be going into distributing your application. Uh, getting it ready for iTunes Connect and then getting it ready for submission and uh, some of the things you need to think about before you submit your universal application. So I'm just going to talk quick, uh, quickly about the benefits of a universal application. Uh, if you have a universal application then you know uh, someone who's maybe an iPhone user and also has an iPad uh, can take full advantage uh, of your application on the iPad. Um, and especially when you have such a big screen, you know, if you're making something like a game, uh, it's a great opportunity to uh, take full advantage of the iPad, um, and you can use, just use the whole screen real estate to make a great game. Or if you have some sort of movie app or some sort of, some sort of application which requires a good amount of space in terms of screen size, then it's a great great idea to think about making a universal application um, which supports the iPad. Um, you could always make two applications, one for the iPhone and iPod Touch and one for the iPad. And some people do this, you know, you, you don't have to make a universal application. But it's always best to make a universal application 
um, if you're thinking about making two you know, same apps, one app for the iPhone and iPod Touch and one for the iPad, but you know, if there's no difference between the iPad one and the iPhone and iPod Touch one, apart from maybe the UI, then Apple could reject that because it's it's just it's got limited functionality. You know, nothing's different from your iPhone one iPhone application. So making a universal application is just the best way forward. Okay, well, this has just been a, a short little overview and sort of getting started for you, as it were, uh, for making universal applications for the iPhone, uh, the iPod Touch, and the iPad. Stay tuned for this Xcode build series. Uh, in the next video of this series, we will be going into adding icons and splash screens. After that, we'll be going into um, upgrading your UI. Then we will be going into upgrading your code. And then after that, we'll, we will be going into distributing, testing, and then obviously distributing your app via iTunes Connect. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.